Hmm, while looking for some good body hair removal options, I discovered Ablation. Hi, this is Shulekha. So today in this video, I am going to review this Philips Corded Epilator. So yeah, please do stick around till the end of the video to know my opinion on whether you should get it or not, uh, pros and cons and so much more that I have to say about this. And yeah, with that being said, let's get right into the video. First things first, what is an epilator? Basically, epilator is a bunch of mini tweezers together per se and unlike shaving, this removes a hair from the root or the follicle giving you the long lasting effect by prolonging the hair regrowth process similar to that of waxing. Coming to the packaging, it comes in this simple cardboard box. By opening up, we get to see a warranty card, a lot of paperwork and the instruction manual of course. Up next we have the product itself. This is what it looks like up and close. It is so cute, so easy and so compact. The head is removable and is water washable. So if you just want to wash it, run it in the water and yeah, that is ready to be used and you have to slide it back in. It comes with two different speeds, one being the lowest and two being the highest. And uh, it also has some gripper lines on the back side of it. It comes with its own cable and it has a round pin to plug your epilator and a two pin to turn it on. It has a decent amount of length to the wire and it is that simple to turn it on and use it. Next we have this uh, sensitive area cap attachment which is really useful for people with sensitive skin and as it creates gap between the head and the skin, it is so easy and uh, really helpful. Up next we have this uh, little cute brush which is uh, used to clean the epilator head and yeah that is what we get in the box. How to use it? Plug the product in, turn it on, make sure the blade is working well and fine. Once that is done, hold your epilator 90 degrees to your skin. Not any less, not any more or guys it won't work that effective. And also you have to go against the direction of your hair growth. So if your hair is growing downwards, you have to go upwards with this. Now the trick with this is to use small and short strokes and also you have to be gentle on your skin. Now think of this as your uh, you know surface to pick up your hair from. So please don't exert too much pressure or tug onto your skin uh, so that it would the blade would stop working on that area and also don't pick up the hair from like an airy distance it's gonna hurt you like a peach okay so <laughs> yeah please be gentle and firm while using this also i suggest you to keep a brush handy so that you can use it after every few strokes and it won't give you an idea of where to ablate next and yes i am using this pedicure brush it is a new one but uh, the other side has broken so i have decided to you know let it be for this one I suggest epilation after a hot shower because the pores tend to be more enlarged and it will be easier to remove uh, the hair from the root and please don't do it when your skin is moisturized or have a little bit of dampness going on. Uh, please do apply some powder if you need but please don't do it on wet skin because it won't be effective. This is what my skin looks after epilation and I would really love to moisturize my body with a semi-thick moisturizer because uh, just after epilation our skin uh, our pores tend to be more open so if you apply a thick moisturizer that could be a little you know uh, clogging so yeah I would like to use a semi thick moisturizer on my skin. I know there are epilators which are supposed to be used on your uh, dry as well as your wet skin but I don't prefer the wet uh, variant uh, because when your uh, skin is damp your hair tends to be really flat so the epilation process won't be that effective mm -hmm. and yeah I really prefer the dry epilator variant more. Once the process is done plug it out and use the brush provided to uh, get rid of the hair and slide it out to run it under clean water and I towel dry it after that and I am going to slide it back in and it is ready as new for the next use too. Now let's just quickly move on to some pros and cons, shall we? Pro number one, it is sustainable. Now if you are someone who waxes or shaves their body hair, if you are a waxing person, uh, the products that we we'll use like the strips, the you know applicator, the beans and uh, so much more hassle with that uh, if you are a shaving person uh, after every single shave the blade goes a little blunt and you have to dispose your razor up to three to four uses at max for the hygiene purposes and that would lead to so much of uh, landfills and the plastic pollution and whatnot but with this all you need is this single little thing 
Pro number two, it's economical. Let me get this straight by doing a little math and a little comparison. So let's start with razor. Each razor ranges something around 15 rupees to 100. So basically, uh, average rate of a single razor is 65 right so with razors the hair regrowth is really quick as it cuts off from the surface so uh, think of uh, shaving uh, as like once a week so uh, it's three times or four times at max so you have to repurchase a new razor after every three to four uses so that's uh, 65 into three right there so and you have to do it for the rest of the year so it's into 12 so basically it's something around 2340 let's say 2500 so that's for the razors part now think of waxing every session costs you something around 300 to 600 minimum okay so the average is 450 and uh, the frequency is every single month so it's 415 to 12 so it's uh, 5400 right there Whew, i did math i did math uh, which is not my jam but still i tried so uh yeah please hit that like and appreciate so yeah let's move on and uh, yeah the laser treatment could be done but you have to you know uh, that's like more of an uh, you know saving up towards it and you know that's like an investment like long-term plans they are shit expensive i know like uh, the affordability is subjective but uh, for me as of right now out of context but this one costs you something around 3000 and it will last you for like years and years and years isn't that supremely economical i know right pro number three it is safe to use by that i mean when you apply that hot wax on your skin there is a greater chance to burn your skin if done incorrectly and there are no chemicals involved in this and unlike razors it is sanitary and there are no razor cuts whatsoever Pro number four, it is compact, easy to use as well as travel friendly. I mean, look at this, it's in the size of my palm and it easily fits in your purse or whatever you're traveling with. There are no pre-preparations involved like heating up the wax and all that. And also you don't have to make an appointment to go to the salon or book one at home. You don't have any of those. All you need to do is plug it in and use it whenever you need, wherever you need. Pro number five, the results. Depending upon the speed of regrowth, the results last you something around three to five weeks at ease. And also with this, you don't have to wait until your hair is fully grown up to certain length to get it waxed. This could easily remove the tiniest of lengths. Those were the pros. And let's talk about the con. The only con I have with this, the most asked question, does that pain? I would be lying if I say no. So yes, it does and it will. Now I'm putting this point into the con list just because the pain threshold is subjective. By that I mean it differs from person to person. So for me, my threshold to physical pain is comparatively high. So I don't mind this pain at all. I used to waxing and you could bear that uh, pain of ripping off your uh, hair. Uh, this would be fine for you. This would do just great. Mind you, unlike waxing wherein uh, the strip covers a little extra surface area, it's like one rip and you're done but with this one you just need to you know work it in slow short motions uh, which might be a little extra painful for some of you guys so i just want to mind you that and uh, yeah uh, i don't want to scare you but the pain is i personally think it's totally bearable so yeah i will be minding you that and uh, except that i have nothing more points to put them into the cons list and uh, those were the pros and cons now coming to the next question of yours should i buy this one or not i would absolutely freaking mutely from the bottom of my heart say a big big yes to that question also this video is not sponsored by philips uh, anyway but i will be leaving a link down in the description box if you want to buy it and i mean if you start using this once there's no way going back and i promise you will be loving it so get it asap and thank me later and yes, that was it for this review. I hope you guys have found it informative. And if you did, then please, please, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel or just click on this and subscribe. Uh, my last video over here. And yeah, I'll meet you in my next video. Until then, take care, stay safe, stay home. This is Shilekha Rai signing off for now. Bye.